Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pasadena Convention Center. I'm Rex Lindbergh. I'm the Community Relations Director for the City of Pasadena. What we have, we have a lot of great information we're going to share with you guys today. This is a joint venture between the City of Pasadena and the City of Deer Park. This is a Disaster Assistance Recovery Center. Let me tell you first off when we get started, before we get started, let me tell you what it is and what it's not. What it is or what it's going to be starting at 1 o'clock today is a gathering of governmental agencies, local businesses, industry partners, uh, nonprofit agencies, uh, faith-based organizations, churches, as well as our Pasadena Independent School District, all of our city employees, and hundreds of wonderful volunteers. It's kind of a one-stop shop. It's a hub for getting information and support to help people who have been affected to get their life back to a sense of normalcy. And we want to try to do that as, as quickly as we can, so we're putting it all together at one location. Let me tell you what it's not. It's not a place to come here for cash. There won't be any cash given out. It's not a place for clothes, so it's not a place to pick up clothes if you need those. There are some, some places that you can do that, but it's not here. And it's not a place for vendors to set up for business. That's not what we have in mind here. We need everyone to be careful. We need everyone to be patient. We need to slow down, take a breath, and be smart. Don't get scammed. There's a lot of people out there that are not looking out for your best interest. To help ease some of the pain, um, both, of our, both of our local mayors have, have lifted the fees for permits through this disaster. I think that's going to help a little bit and help speed up the process. If you're a governmental agency or a nonprofit agency and you feel like you might be a good fit here and help be able to help some people out, we'd ask if you'd email our Office of Emergency Management at oem at pasadenatx.gov. At this time, we're going to hear from Mayor Jeff Wagner. Thank you, Rex. Again, I think Rex explained what this is and what this is not. It's very important for the community to realize we're here to help the citizens that the tornado touched. Um, here in Pasadena, we know that we've had 253 structures that were impacted, 26 completely destroyed, 105, actually 122, where people are still able to live in their house. This is for those residents here in Deer Park, Pasadena, that the tornado actually touched. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure we give the information that they need so they can get back to living in their houses as fast as possible. You know, when this tornado hit here, in, again, Deer Park in Pasadena, we've never seen a tornado with this kind of damage, I don't think, ever in the history of Pasadena or Deer Park. But we know this, as soon as that tornado touched down, we had plan A, B, and C in place. A was to go out and rescue people. By, by the grace of God, we didn't have to do that. There was no major injuries in this tornado. And it's, 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 it's unbelievable, and we thank God for that. Number two is, since we don't have to rescue people, we immediately had to assess the damage. We're doing that. The state's helping us do that. But number three is, and it's what's as important is, our city crews, from the time that touched down, we realized the first two that nobody was hurt. We immediately started clearing streets, working with Center Point, getting lines, uh, electric lines and poles out of the streets and out of people's houses, and we're starting to pick up debris immediately. You know, I was walking with uh, uh, the county judge. Uh, she came to uh, the city, and I told her, I said, whatever it takes for us to get the debris away from these people's houses, we must do. And she jumped on board immediately because I remember in her statement with the media, she says we're going to remove the debris. That's exactly what we need to do. Because I know this, my house wasn't touched. But if my house was touched and I seen all my belongings and my house and my roof laying in front of my house, I'd want that removed immediately. And that's what we're doing immediately. Our crews have worked 24-7 overtime. It's just amazing what our crews have picked up already. And this morning... Harris County did join our city crews to help pick up debris in front of people's houses. It's very important that people have patience, but we're working around the clock to make sure all our citizens are going to get the care they need from their city. Everybody's talking about our animal shelter. Yes, our animal shelter was damaged, but again, at that location, even the employees that were inside that building when the whole roof was torn off, no injuries. 
two injuries to a dog, to the two dogs, but not major injuries. We're able to get those dogs, over 200 dogs, in new locations. They're all safe. And again, that damage is estimated over a million dollars to fix that animal shelter, and we're going to do that as soon as possible. We, in this community, I'm, I'm talking about Deer Park and Pasadena, work well together. Just, if you look in this lobby right here, like businesses like Lowe's, they immediately called and said, what can we do? They supplied 300 cleanup kits for people to come here and start help cleaning their houses or anything they need. That's pretty, that's a good partnership. And what's amazing is we had a pastor that, that left Pasadena about three years ago and went to the Beaumont area. His church got together, Brad McKenzie from Beaumont, and brought hygiene kits, which right over here that we're going to be able to hand out to people. Here in our community, we work well together. We're holding hands together, and we're working together. And it's really amazing. Out in the communities, that's what you see, neighbor helping neighbor. And neighbors that only live in that neighborhood are helping neighbors. That's why we're doing everything we can, and we're going to continue to do what we can to make this a... I don't like the word to use easy because my house wasn't touched. It's not easy to look at your house and think it's easy, but we're going to make it as easy as possible to get the benefits, the care that everyone needs to get their life back. I hate to use the word normal, but back to their normal, and we're going to do that. And again, this center here just helps with the information and direction that's needed to get our citizens on the right path. People are calling our city constantly asking how they can help. Well, if you want to donate money, please donate money to uh, Baker, Baker Ripley. They uh, Check their website and their social media. They have a link where you can actually donate money. They are going to um, take that money. Be sure to put tornado um, somewhere. It's going to put the word tornado somewhere. And they're going to make sure that money is used to help the citizens that were touched by this tornado. Again... This community is working together. The city is working well with everybody. Our churches are working well together. That's Pasadena, and we're going to continue to work together to get through this. And again, we've never seen anything like this before, but we're dealing as if we have seen it before. This is how good Pasadena is. Uh, Rex, uh, if there's anything we need to add, we will shortly, but um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. And again, this center is for direction of our citizens who need help. Please come here, get the information. Do not get scammed. Already, I've seen all through our city, and we're going to try to remove them, signs of people, businesses. If the business says they take cash, don't use that business because we know what happens. Let's don't get scammed. Let's do it the right way. Work through your insurance company and get contractors through them. That way you're going to be safe. Anyway, thank you all for coming out. We'll answer questions here shortly. Thank you, Mayor Wagner. Very well said. At this time, we'll, we'll bring to the podium uh, uh, Mayor Jerry Mouton, City of Deer Park. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, it's good to be here in Pasadena. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't start out by, again, acknowledging the prayers in the community uh, is being felt, and, and I appreciate it, and I would ask that uh, you continue to keep uh, our communities uh, lifted up in prayer. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, got my attention this morning, as, uh, as bad as it is, it could have been significantly worse. And when you look at the, the scenarios, there's, there's no question in my mind that God had his hand on this equation. We had, for some reason, nature bouncing from one spot to the next. We see the intermittent damages and I know in Deer Park, it, it just bounced right over schools, right at a time when schools were being let out. So there's no question for me that uh, God played a heavy role in protecting our communities. To stand here and still have no confirmation of casualties to me is just, just short of a miracle. At that time, uh, thank you. It's, it's, it's good to stand up with your mayor and say we're working together. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mayor Mouton. I tell you what, you can, see the, you can see how this is a real partnership. These cities, these communities, they care for each other. We're, we're going to do whatever it takes to help everybody get their lives back to normal. Remember, always 
Go through your insurance company. Be careful. Be safe. Got a couple other things I want to, people I want to thank that, that uh, kind of go unnoticed. They work behind the scenes. Our Pasadena Chamber of Commerce has done an amazing job helping to assemble this stuff and getting this thing together. I want to thank them, Christina and her team over there. Uh, the Texas Division of Emergency Management, Michelle and her crew have, again, helped work together. It takes so many people to get this type of a thing together. And it's just really, really amazing. I want to thank all of our first responders, like the mayor mentioned, who had hit the ground running just as soon as this, this incident occurred. And again, they've been working around the clock. Can't, can't say enough thanks to Centerpoint Energy. I know some people have, have, have waited a little bit longer than some of the others to get their power back on, but if you saw the extent of the damage, the things that they, they have done here in the city of Pasadena and in Deer Park are amazing. Crews are everywhere. They're still working around the clock, so, so if you don't have your power back, please be patient. These guys are working very, very hard, and they too are working around the clock. And I also want to thank Harris County for stepping up and helping us with our, our sanitation stuff, the stuff that they're helping us with now. We're also partnering with our, our, our group here at Waste Management, our city employees. They're working around the clock. Quick thank you real quick to our OEM director, Azel Carter, again, who's helped to hold this thing together. And from the communications department, Laura Morellis, who has helped get you guys together and help us do what we need to do. Uh, they told me that I need to say my name for something. My name is Rex Lindbergh. That's, uh, I'm the community relations director for the City of Pasadena, and the last name is L-I-N-D-B-E-R-G. Okay, at this time, uh, we're going to open it up for questions. So if anybody's got any questions. Rain over the weekend, so what's being done to prepare for that? Well, I can say, um, actually, Lowe's just showed up with a bunch of tarps, and we're going to get our, our crews to um, get the tarps that they're, they're donating and, and help them get on the roofs that are uh, actually where the people are staying. Uh, so... We have thought about that. We're trying to help them as much as we can, but um, right now, basically, that's all we can do is help maybe put a tarp on somebody's roof, and, but we are assisting on that. Any extra shelters, any extra uh, manpower? Absolutely, oh, yeah. Uh, the ba Baker Ripley is one handling the shelter for us, and they're, they're full, and uh, yeah, they got plenty of volunteers, but again, neighbor helping neighbor has really helped out in this. Mayor, let me interrupt. <clears throat> yes. Revive Church here in Pasadena. Thank you. Yeah, Revive Church here in Pasadena on Fairmont Parkway, and um, I believe it's South Main. Is it South? No, it's uh, Revive Memorial Baptist. Memorial Baptist is, is the other church. There's one on Lake Grove City, Deer Park, and Pasadena on our website that has plenty of recovery changes. Just stop the name. Yeah, we should have went to the expert. <laughs> can, can somebody repeat that? Or you Laura, want, send you want to say that? No, come right up here and say that real quick. <laughs> she said it so well. My name is Laura Morellis, M-I-R-E-L-E-S. I'm the Community Information Manager for the City of Pasadena. And both communication teams from Deer Park and Pasadena have put together tornado recovery resource pages. You can find them on each city's website. Pasadena is PasadenaTX.gov. And Deer Park is DeerParkTX.gov. I believe that's right, Mayor Mufon? That's correct. Yes. So if you go to each of those uh, on the landing page, uh, I believe Deer Park is up at the top with a little red dot. Pasadena, you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a black and yellow graphic with the information. You click on that. Both of those pages are fluid. They are live. We are adding and removing information as it happens. So uh, please tell the public they can go to those websites for information on shelters, resources, everything that we know we'll let you know right there, and our social media as well. Uh, TDM, Texas Division of Emergency Management, has a link on our website. I'm not sure if Deer Park has it, but it's circulating through social media. It's iStat, and what that is, you follow the link and you will take a survey if your home has been damaged. It helps assess the damage, so please, it is crucial that if you have the capability to go and log on, if you go to our tornado recovery resource pages, log on and the state will gather that information and that helps Texas, Pasadena, Deer Park send that information to FEMA and hopefully get the assistance and the resources we need but we have to have that documentation in order to let them know what's going on here. So again go to our website and our social media and uh, fill out the survey form from the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Just to add to what she's saying, uh, if there's some 
scenario where you're not uh, able to access the resources to get online to do that, uh, Tatum is here right over in this room. And uh, if you just come here, we can collect that data and get it uploaded in the ISTAT to make sure, going back to the appropriate questions, that we confirm the needs and, and get it uplinked to, to make sure we're, we're in best position to access resources from our federal partners. And again, that's why this is here. One stop to help everybody with the directs and the inf information they need. Very important. You can come here and get all the information you need to get every benefit that's out there. Can you guys address the uh, commercial property aspect? What small businesses that were damaged, particularly in, in you know, Deer Park, uh, how would they get help? Uh, y yes, again, the, the needs and the resources are all one and the same, whether it's commercial or residential. I advise anybody that's in that arena to come here. But, but again, there, there is a distinguishable difference between those that have the insurance and means that need to work through that track. But I do believe in the aspects of the, uh, the meetings we've had on this, insurance agencies will be here. There will still be assistance on, on how to advance that or, or get through the process more efficiently for that. But uh, from any aspect of assessing that, we, we've uh, uh, been working with Harris County Fire Marshals to make sure uh, uh, the, the property owners are, are understandable uh, of, of the damage of their own facilities so they can get the resources they need. And also for small businesses, that ISTAT tool is open for small businesses as well. So if you have a commercial structure that was damaged, that information needs to go in there as well. So the iStat tool is going to be available here at the Pasadena Convention Center starting today through the weekend. We have iPads set up. We will have personnel to help walk you through it. Um, so it's for commercial, individual. We really need to get those numbers. The uh, TDM is stressing how important that is because that helps us get the federal help we need. Thank you, Ms. Laura. At this time, we're going to have to cut off the questions and stuff. I hope we've answered most of the questions for you guys, and we sure appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you.